What is going on you guys? It is your boy Carboholics and we're back again with another YouTube video of ours and today we are at Blue Star Donuts which is a new donut shop for us so you already know how we gotta get started. We got the regular glaze here people and it's not an old fashioned glaze this is a regular OG donut but it's actually an horchata glaze donut on a brioche bun so let's see how this donut tastes. Wow, the donut is so soft and airy. The brioche bun is like so smooth and soft and they're glazing. It actually tastes like a regular original glazed donut more than an horchata one, but I'm really digging it. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that order that we got coming up. See you guys back at home. And we're back with more donuts. Baby. And we're back guys with a brand new video, brand new donut shop. So you already know. Let me show you guys the time to get started. It's 8.09 November 14. And we are gonna simply start here with the old fashioned buttermilk. And we did get 20 donuts in total, including those two regular OGs that we had over there. So here is how the Blue Star Donut old fashioned is looking. This thing looks incredible, guys. So, look at how delicious this looks. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Ah. Wow. <laughs> wow, I love it. Mm. Oh yeah. I love the crisp from the outside. Mm. Wow. Definitely my favorite donut. It's like a um like the buttermilk, buttermilk glaze bar, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah guys. Their buttermilk old fashioned is exactly like a buttermilk glaze bar. And I would even go as far to say that is one of the top buttermilk glaze bars. This old fashioned guy has a nice crisp outside. And it's nice and soft and buttery in the inside, huh? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Even with some bites on like the cornerings of this donut, because it does have corners on it, which is crazy for a donut, you get like a super crispy part. Did you get that? Super so sweet. So delicious, huh? Wow, <laughs> definite a top old fashioned. This one's smaller. Now we're moving on to the blueberry bourbon basil, which as the name states, it has blueberry glazing over the top and I believe a brioche bun donut. And it does have local bourbon in the glaze with along with basil so let's see how this tastes and you could kind of smell the bourbon on it actually which oh, is crazy yeah. cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm. That's crazy, wow. yeah. mm. it kind of tastes like lemon zest like if it has lemon zest a little bit the basil is it the basil the base along with the blueberries. Mm, it's great. This glaze is so sweet, guys. And then you could actually taste mm. some of that bourbon in it, along with the with the basil. There's something really different. Wow, guys. And I love bourbon, so this donut really hits it for me because you get like that aroma of the bourbon they use mm. but it's like so sweet and like blueberry like that you don't need it doesn't even bother you it just mm -hmm. blends in perfectly especially with that basil so i'm gonna warm up the next batch and i'll be right back with you guys 
We'll be right back. And we're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we are back, and guys, this chocolate ring brioche yeasted donut looks so delicious. Amazing. Now, we usually do not get chocolate glazed donuts. You guys already know this by now. This is actually chocolate almond ganache, which has 100% uh, dark cocoa powder with, to make the dark chocolate. And then it's got almonds over the top. So it sounds delicious. And the, the icing on top, the ganache, is actually real thick. And you could actually taste the dark chocolate. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I love dark chocolate. Oh yeah, they got something wrong with this. Mm. Wow. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Very messy, but worth it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, guys. So very messy chocolate donut but really good the dark chocolate just set the tone for the whole donut with those like little chopped up almond pieces man it was amazing and they put like a thick coating of that dark chocolate but i don't know the darkness the 100 percent cocoa powder that they used i guess just really i don't know it's it's not too sweet it's not overwhelmingly chocolatey is just right so we're gonna move on to their real maple bacon which as the name states they used real 100 percent maple syrup to make their maple their maple glaze and then they topped it off with of course bacon bits bacon and bacon. and they're thick and they actually look crispy guys so i'm gonna bite it over here because there's um some chocolate ganache on this side so let's see how that tastes cheers cheers Well, their maple glaze is good. Really good. Their bacon has the perfect amount of flavor. The perfect flavor is so delicious. It's crispy. But I would like it a bit more crispier. For me, it's not too crispy. Mine is. I would like them a bit smaller. But then I also do warm them up, guys. So that could be affecting it too. And I would like more bacon bits on mine. As you can see, my half, almost no bacon bits, but mm -hmm. still really delicious because their maple glaze was perfectly, not overpoweringly sweet. That's because it doesn't, um, most of the bacon didn't stick to the donut. It's a great maple bacon donut overall. And guys, we ended up with 20 donuts. We're supposed to only get 18, 9 each, but Mrs. Donuts and Pizza over here wanted an apple fritter for each, which these apple fritters look very good, very heavy, very dense. And you guys will Extra see that crispy. when they come up. And I hope they're crispy like they're old fashioned ones. Mm -hmm. Let's warm up the next batch and we'll be right back. She beat me to it, guys. I'm gonna warm <laughs> up the next batch and I'll be right back with you guys. Gotta do something different, right? And we're back. We're back, guys, with another wild donut. So we got a passion fruit cake right here coming up, but it's weird. It's called passion fruit cake, but it seems to me like it's on their brioche style donut. So I don't know what why they call it that, but it's a passion fruit glaze with crunchy cocoa nibs over the top. Cheers. Cheers. Let's bite it from one of the cocoa nib side. Mmm. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It doesn't even need milk. Whoa, dude. It doesn't even need mm. milk. Oh, it's so sweet, huh? Mm-hmm. It's like sweet sour, like a sour taste. Yeah. Wow, so good though. But 
It's passion, this passion fruit glaze, guys, is so good. It kind of has a similar taste to a super sweet guava with like a little hint of tanginess to it. Mm -hmm. Huh. Wow. It's crazy. As you can see, it doesn't even need milk. It's got so much flavor on the glaze. And that's actually what I noticed with their last one. Their glazings have so much flavor. Mm -hmm. So far, so good, guys. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, that one was crazy. It hit me with a loop like... I don't know. It's like you're eating a fruit, but with a soft donut. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's hard to describe because obviously you don't really want a sweet sweet fruit with a soft donut but this is like so perfect so now we're gonna move it to the next one which is their blueberry basil or their blueberry bourbon basil glaze on top of their vanilla cake donut so i mean we already tasted their their blueberry basil bourbon basil glaze now let's taste it on a cake donut and see how it goes. Cheers. <laughs> um. Wait, what's going on? Wow. Wow, their cakes are so good. Their cakes are delicious. Soft. I don't think I've disliked any of their donuts so mm -hmm. far. No. Their cakes are really good. Nice crisp outside, soft and buttery on the inside, and super thick, guys. Mm -hmm. They're almost, I think they're thicker than side cards, but side cards is like more dense, a bit more heavy. <laughs> huh. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Oh, it's crazy. And you also. <laughs> and I don't, guys, I've heard a couple of people saying that their donuts are chewy. I don't know if it's the time they went, but none of these donuts were chewy. They are done on brioche buns. So they are different. So it does have like a slightly different texture, but it's not chewy. It's not chewy. Because it completely dissolves. At least the batch that we got. So yeah. I'm going to go warm up the next batch and I'll be right back with you guys. We'll be back, guys. And we're back. With a couple of apple, apple fritters. donuts. <laughs> so we're going to move it on to their apple fritters, which are really heavy, mm -hmm. really dense, guys. Like, these things look small on the hand, but they are so heavy and dense. Like, if you can feel the weight of these things, it's just crazy. And they are pretty hard on the outside, so that's good. Pretty wow. Hard. This smells so good and it is with their brioche style dough. So let's see how that goes. Cheers. Pretty good. It's different. Yeah, I have something inside. Look, you see that? Granny Smith apples. No, this green things. Granny Smith apples. <laughs> I thought it was some, some sort of seed or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually good though, huh? Mm -hmm. It's got that nice crisp layered outside, guys. And the inside. I want to know how to describe the inside because I haven't gotten to the thicker part. But so far, I like it. For the most part, it's not like chewy or anything like that. Mm -mm. And the reason why I say I like it is because it doesn't have that that um, apple sauce thing that they some some they do have like a lot of that like an apple sauce or something. I think why why she likes it, guys, is mm -hmm. because it's not too strong. The, apple, the apple pieces are like really small. They're like. Apple shreds, I believe. Look, like, it's like shreds of apple mm -hmm. instead of actual big pieces. Really great. 
Slow down. Take it easy. All right, guys. So really delicious. I'm going to leave this piece here and here. Take a look at those shreds that it has wow. in there of the Granny Smith apple. I mean, they're little pieces. Yeah. Like little shreds. I open my nose. Really great apple cider. I think it was an apple cider fritter. Really great. So, but your boy is getting a little bit full. So we're gonna leave those two donuts for tonight, which is one for each, half each. And we are going to do these next apple donuts, which I forgot the name. It's apple something crumble. Apple with a B crumble. So we'll call it the AB crumble cake donut. And this is how this cake donut is looking. I mean, you're not even saying sorry to me. Why? What you happened? You elbowed me on my nose. <laughs> oh, sorry. I did? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's not funny. You got a pretty soft nose because I didn't beat it. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Guys, and Blue Star did not fail me with any one of their donuts. Wow. They're all really good, huh? What mm. kind of glazing is this, actually? Mm. I think this is the regular vanilla bean glaze. And it tastes so good. And you get like that hint of the apple, huh? Is it from the crumbles or what is it from? I think it's from the crumbles, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Taste that. The bottom? I don't know guys, but it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. Now your boy is full. So I'm gonna <laughs> leave it here. <laughs> but we will be back for those two. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done with mine. Relax, take a breather. Maybe you'll eat those right now. Then we go downstairs and you're nibbling on them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I'm not like overly stuffed, guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just satisfied with the donuts for now. I do go downstairs and I usually pop open a beer, probably like a bag of chips. And then we go walk into the marketplace. But for the most part, you know, I'm good with donuts for now. Um, v is usually good before me, but I don't know mm -hmm. what's going on this time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna fast forward the part while she finishes up. Why you never talk? let me talk? <laughs> no. I am. Oh. So that's it, guys. I left half of the apple crumb and like a fourth of the the uh, apple fritter, but I am pretty satisfied really great donuts it's not because they were bad or anything like that like i said i'm just satisfied but they are really great apple donuts i mean blue star donuts just didn't disappoint and i can't wait to taste this um chocolate one as well chocolate old-fashioned i mean this thing looks amazing guys so tonight we will get into these or maybe before the night i don't know yet but for now we are gonna close out this donut section of the video, which is 841, still November 14. Guys, Stay tuned, guys. I feel like this alien right here inside the donut right now. <laughs> <laughs> she turned, she literally turned, we're literally gonna turn into donut, donuts, guys. So we'll be right back with you guys with our next meal, peace. peace. All right, guys, so we're here at the second meal for today, and we are at the 405 Tepayanqui truck, which is located in the city of Van Nuys on Sepulveda right next to the Beth Moore on Sepulveda if you guys will follow me right down here it is a food truck and they specialize in like chicken ribs teriyaki steak lobster tail shrimp I mean they got all kinds of proteins that have been served on white rice or fried rice with some veggies from what I've heard they've got pretty great reviews and the owner of the truck itself he used to work in the Benny Hanas from Beverly Hills before it shut down. So, I mean, you already know it's gonna be great. And I'll show you what we got in about a second or two. Back with the second meal. As you guys saw, we went to a 405 Tepayaki truck, 
which is like a Benihana's on wheels because like I said, the owner used to work at Benihana's in Beverly Hills before it shut down. So let me show you the time. It is 5.57 and then let me show you what we got here from the truck itself. We both got the same thing but I got the steak medium rare. So we got a plate here with steamed veggies. We got some fried rice. We got teriyaki steak here on the side. Mine is medium rare and Vivian's is uh, well done. We got a lobster tail and we got some shrimp. So let's see how this is. And for those of you guys that wanted to know, it was $94 for both plates. So it's pretty pricey. And let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna use these wipes. I'll start with the shrimp. Tell me how it is. Wow. It's good? Yeah. It's amazing. All right, here's a close look at the shrimp, guys. And the shrimp is definitely delicious. I'm excited. It's cooked to perfection, guys, and it's seasoned really well. I gotta learn how to cook these. This huh. is exactly what I'm looking for during the week. For the shrimp? For the shrimp. Yeah. Oh man. Really good guys. Even the fried rice is really good. Now they gave us some sauces here. Soy sauce, hot sriracha, spicy mayo, chili sauce. Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh, that's spicy? Uh. Ooh, that's for me. This is some type of ginger, I believe. Oh shit. Mm. Let me check this one if it's the same one. Oh, I love that, that sauce. Yeah. I love that spicy sauce. Now I'm bummed out, guys, that I didn't get my garlic butter, but that's fine. I got a lobster tail and I really wanted some garlic butter with mm. it. Mm, but the flavor is amazing. It doesn't really need anything to me. Mm. Mm. I haven't even used any sauces on it, guys. It's perfect how it is. Mmm. Oh, I love it. But let's taste this sauce that smells like ginger. Oh, look at how nice. Oh my goodness. Look at how mm. nice this is. Try it and close up. Everything just fell off. The lobster tail, guys. The meat just comes right off of it. It's cooked to perfection. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Dip your um <laughs> I'll do this. Dip your shrimp into the into the sauce, babe. The shrimp? Yeah. Wait, let me taste the lobster. Wow. Mmm. It's absolutely amazing. The shrimp with that sauce is good. And guys, we do have some steamed veggies, like I said. It's good with that, huh? And that's some type of ginger sauce. Oh, wow, it's good. Imagine with the rice. Oh. Yeah, guys, that ginger sauce, I gotta find out what it is, but it's really good with the shrimp. Mmm. Wow, dip it in. Put some sauce on, on your rice? Oh, no. so good. I like a little bit of it, because the more I get, the more of the ginger that I taste. Guys, this is actually our first time going to this place and I love it. It's expensive, but it's it's worth it. Yeah, like I said guys, trucks. $94 for both of these plates. Now the guy did say that they charge $10 extra for, for each protein. So it's like $30. $30. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, $40, $10 for basically for the rice and veggies, huh? I don't know, but it was $94. But it's really good, guys. Mm -hmm. I would definitely go back. Oh, yeah. Now, it mm -hmm. just sucks that me and V have such big appetites mm -hmm. that it's going to be anywhere from $94 to $100 each time we go back. They got a whole lot of different um, choices of meat. I got, like I said, the shrimp, oh and we got the lobster. And then here is the teriyaki 
steak, which I got it cooked medium rare, so that's why it's kind of white. Um, B got it cooked um, well done, so it's a bit more of a crisp color. I like me some sauce. But let's see how it tastes with this chili sauce. My plate. Look at how good mm. this is. Got some veggies on the bottom here. Some carrots. I love carrots, though, by the way. Some onion. Oh. How's this spicy mayo? Well, it's good, but I don't like it with the steak. I'm gonna taste the steak. I like the steak with the salsa. Mm. With the salsa right here. So I'm gonna fast forward the part while we eat this plate, guys. This is where I'm at so far. I got the lobster tail. We're digging into the steak here and we just finished most of the shrimp. I think I got like two or three shrimp left. But they good they do put a good amount of each protein on your plate. So five, four, three, two, one. This ginger sauce is epic. And the hot sauce too. How was the spicy meal? I like it. It's good, but it doesn't go with the plate itself. No? For me. Now I wish they opened sooner. That would be good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They open at five, so it's kind of late. We don't have any good lighting. Oh damn, I ate a lot. I thought I ate a little bit, but I see you, you left a bunch of protein. Mm -mm. Okay. This is I mixed it. But well, that's why all of that is meat, look. No, it's rice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look, that's pretty pretty. <laughs> I wish I could eat more. But I can't. Mm. Mm. I feel sorry for you. Mr. Beast couldn't keep up with me today. Yeah. <laughs> I need your veggies. I ate way more than you. That's because they gave you less. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so that's it for me. As you can see, I finished all the meats, all the proteins. I left one small pocket of fried rice and a bit of those veggies. Uh, this was really great, really delicious. Down to the veggies, guys. The fried rice, it was so good. Like, it just has all kinds of flavors, huh? All kinds of Even the flavors. veggies. <laughs> Hold on guys, I'm just burping all this soda. But anyways, even the veggies had all kinds of flavor. The meats were all good. I mean, for the for the teriyaki steak, I think next time I'm gonna go for ribs because we are gonna go back, guys. Yeah. This place is really delicious. But the shrimps were like full of flavor. And don't get me wrong, the teriyaki steak was good. It was also good in flavor, but I would just I don't know, I, I got more flavor from the, the lobster tail itself and from the shrimps and they were so good, like so tender and good. Even the meat was tender and good. But like I said, I got more flavor from the lobster tail and the shrimp. So next time I think I'm gonna go for the ribs or for like some New York steak and try that out, see how that goes. But for now, it was a decent amount of food. As you can see, I left a pocket of rice and steamed veggies. So, I mean, it's a decent amount of food. Me this too. plate is heavy, guys. That's all I left, guys. 
Yeah, these plates were really heavy. $94 for two plates and two sodas. I mean, it was well worth it. You know, you guys don't have to get three meats. One meat will be perfectly enough. It'll be sufficient enough food. I mean, there is a lot of rice and steamed veggies, but they're really delicious. Um, nothing else to say. I mean, it was really great. What do you have to say about it? Speechless. It was good, huh? <laughs> and she doesn't really like seafood, remember guys, but this shrimp and this lobster tail, the rice it was full of flavor, guys, especially wow. with this ginger sauce that they give you. Delicious. So anyways, we are going to close out the video here. It is 6:17. Still November 14, and I know time. we still have two donuts left, guys. Make sure you guys are following us on our Instagram. I'm going to link my account down here and visa account down here make sure you guys are following us on our instagram's accounts and we will get to those donuts tonight but we're gonna post them on our instagram stories because you know lately we haven't been showing a lot of love to the instagram followers and our instagram story account so we're gonna do that it was just two donuts so one donut each because we're gonna have each donut we're gonna talk about those donuts on our instagram stories but for now thank you so much for you guys that have been keeping up to our youtube channel don't forget as soon as we hit 1000 subscriber guys okay, which we out. are really close we are going to do a very very special giveaway so make sure you guys stay tuned for that once again don't forget to like comment share and subscribe holla back at your boy you, for the next video peace